Uh, we'll take one more question from uh, the web. This is from, uh, I think it's either Henry or Harry Saltman. Uh, is there a feminist stream within the Muslim Brotherhood in any country, especially uh, in Europe? Feminist. Feminist. <laughs> feminist. Um, I would probably have to argue no. Um, the Brotherhood has, of course, a female um, branch. Uh, it has uh, its sister organization, sisterhood. So it's um, the way the Brotherhood is organized, both on the men and the male and female side, it's very, very much structured. There's a whole structure that, at least in Muslim majority country, goes from uh, groups called families that meet at the, really at the, the local neighborhood level and the small groups of people, five, six, seven. Uh, meet on a regular basis, sometimes even on a daily basis, uh, for all their life. These are people who meet uh, all the, and talk about religion, politics, all kinds of affairs. The members of structure uh, are at the city level, at the region level, there's a result structure. Very hierarchical, very uh, pyramidal, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, that's for men, and there's kind of a parallel system uh, for, uh, for women. And the women are very active in a variety of activities. Um, that are instrumental in uh, the Brotherhood's uh, action of trying to spread its message and gain popularity with the local population by providing social services. So the women are very, very important in that. Um, if we mean by feminist, we mean more of an open-minded, that's what we're getting, I'm not sure which uh, how to interpret the question, more of an open-minded um, since we talked about the reaction of the Brotherhood to the UN Declaration on, on Women, uh, but it's you know, quite, by, by, by our standards, I would say, a um, misogynistic attitude of, of the Brotherhood, uh, I think it's fair to say that to some degree, uh, the Brotherhood should not be seen as a monolithic movement. There are different voices. There's always, as any large political movement, uh, even in one as structured, um, as disciplined as the Brotherhood, there are different voices. Uh, there are some members of the Brotherhood or individuals that to some degree belong to the galaxy of Brotherhood uh, uh, organizations that tend to have, particularly those living in the West, some that tend to have a more open view. I mean, I can think, for example, of the daughter of Rashid Ganushi, the head of uh, al Nahda in Tunisia. She, uh, Ganushi spent a lot of time in, uh, in the West uh, before going back to Tunisia two years ago. Uh, his daughters, uh, grew up in the UK, uh, and they are uh, a very interesting example. I think it's very difficult to, to put them in one category. Somebody calls them post-Islamists, uh, Islamist 2.0. Uh, they have been uh, uh, very active in some brotherhood organizations and adopt some of the core uh, views uh, and rhetoric of the brotherhood. At the same time, they flirt quite a bit with some uh, sort of left-wing, uh, organizations and that kind of work. Some of them are also running uh, with some political parties like Respect in the UK, which is really a very interesting political entity that mixes Islamist elements with uh, left-wing uh, elements. And to some degree, uh, some of these individuals have moved away from a traditional brotherhood view on, uh, on a variety of issues, including women and the position of women. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as to call them feminist, but they're definitely, you know, you cannot put some of the, some of like what Sumaya Ganushi, Dr. Ganushi's daughter in the UK says and thinks and does, you can, you, it's quite different to what a member of the Brotherhood, a female member of the Brotherhood in Yemen would think and do. Uh, so obviously the Brotherhood is, as I said, pragmatic and flexible. It does adapt to the circumstances uh, of the place in which it operates. There are some concepts that are unchangeable, but there are some other issues on which it shows some kind of flexibility. Um, it understands that its rhetoric in a place like Yemen cannot be the same as the rhetoric that it has in a place like the UK. Uh, the sincerity, of course, of that difference in stance is, of course, something that is a source of endless debates. Uh, but it's fair to say that there are some more modern interpretation of the Brotherhood uh, ideology by some, some loosely defined members of the Brotherhood in the West. <laughs>